Okay guys, so I've got started on this. <clears throat> I got the wheel off. I got the axle nut off. I've got the cross member off. Uh, I've got the drive shaft dropped down. I'm gonna have to, it's got a carrier bearing, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop it so it can, I may just yank it clear out of there. I don't know, it's not that hard. Four bolts on the back and two in the carrier bearing. Uh, sorry I can't get you up under there with this camera but you know thousand dollars these struts have been replaced anytime you see that quick strut they've been replaced because some people don't like messing with them springs to take the springs off they can be dangerous and uh, so you just you can just get the whole thing and, and it's actually cheaper to get the whole thing like that so that's going to have to come down out of there. I got to pull this axle. So I'm going to try to drop that A frame down up here at the steering knuckle. Because if you go messing with this, it's going to have to be lined up. Even if you mark it, guys, it's not going to be right. I mean, it needs to line up, it needs to be lined up anyway, but uh, in alignment. But, I don't know. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and drop this drive shaft down. I'll show you what it, it involves. And then, I'm probably going to start on the exhaust. At least get the exhaust out. Because this thing's going to be here tomorrow between 2 and 6. So, there's two bolts. One on each side of that strap. And there's four back there in the back uh, you really can't see it at the differential um, yeah so I'm gonna go ahead well, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the exhaust uh, I hope the bolts don't break these two are kind of rusty over here I mean it's not a big deal if they do I can put new bolts in I just don't want them to so yeah let me get on that and try to get that exhaust off of there and um, at least get that much out of the way and then maybe tomorrow I'll drop the rest of it down out um, I don't want to get too jacked up here too greasy um, yeah, Monkey's mom's not doing well, you know, she she was in the hospital, I think they let her go home too soon, and then she had to go back, uh, they was going to go to their therapy, and she just felt like she was going to pass out, and she was slurring her words, and we thought maybe she had a stroke, but nothing showed that she had a stroke. Uh, but so she's been in a hospital and then now today I guess she's hallucinating she's seeing an old lady and a dog and other stuff and so it ain't looking good so but anyway let me get back on this and once I drop that uh, exhaust down I don't have to pull the whole exhaust it's just got to go from right there and then the header pipes are down pipes actually they're not headers uh, exhaust manifold pipes it's kind of like one piece so it's really weird shape I'll show it to you once I get it out hang tight that's right they both broke off <laughs> <coughs> so I'm gonna put the socket over here as you can see I got that one just kind of like a like a like a stud for a, a wheel a wheel stud now you can use an air impact on these but I guarantee you they're not going to drive out real easy because you got to hold this there's a flex pipe here So I'm going to do it this way. I do have an air. <coughs> air chisel here. 
<coughs> oh, I think I got bronchitis again. But I don't have the right end, and all I got's this, which is just a drift punch. And once you hit it, you know, these things like to fly out. That's what the spring is on here for. So this should work because it worked on the first one. I may need to get... Okay. I don't want to knock you guys off either. But, I don't know if you see what I got going on right there. Um, so, I may have to get a... There it goes. The other one came out, like, kind of slow. And if you're going to do this, use an impact socket if you have one. I understand a lot of people don't have those kind of things, but... Yeah, if you have one... Use an impact socket. See how thick they are? Yeah. Compared to a regular socket. So, let's see. Drift punch I just had. I've got a hammer up here, I thought. I tried to hammer them out. They just wasn't, they just wasn't going to come out. So... There it is. I'm probably just going to put regular bolts in it because, you know, regular bolts held these things together for years. I do have the gasket for that. Not a new one, but I do have the gasket that came off of it. Looks okay. I'm just going to hit it with some, uh, put some, I got some orange high temperature sealant. I'm just going to put it on there. Uh, the other ones, I'm not sure. I didn't even look for the. This is on to the intermediate pipe. Some of these don't even have a gasket on them. But I'm still going to, you know, put some sealer on it. All right, let's get out of here. And I think I might call it a day. I've only got. See, I, I, I just mess around, guys. I don't. Uh, get into it like I used to a whole bunch but I've got a uh, probably need these tomorrow uh, to pull that out and put the other one back in uh, I just got to do a little bit at a time like right now it's a beautiful day it's like 78 degrees and I'm sweating like it's 178 all right let's get out of this little hole here all right there it is pretty weird huh And that's the way it goes on the car this is your number one bank or left bank that has uh, one three and five in it this is your number two bank or the right bank which has two four and six cylinder in it so like if you ever bring up an O2 sensor code and it'll say you know O2 sensor it'll usually say bank one It'll be this one. Damn. It'll be the one that would be the left side of the engine. The front of the engine's over that way. So it'd be the left side of the engine as you're looking this way. Same as if your engine is this way. It's like you're looking at the car. Number one bank is always one, three, and five. Or on a V8, it'd be one, three, five, and seven. Bank two is always two, four, six, and in V8, two, four, six, eight. So, bank one and bank two. But look at that, the way that curves around there and kind of does its own thing, and it kind of restricts down there the flow, but then it opens back up here. I guess you got to do funky stuff to get 288 horsepower down under the hood of this thing so all right i'll be back with you in a second guys okay so these do have gaskets they're metal gaskets they stayed up on the it actually comes off the manifold and the uh catalytic converter not cadillac converter it's catalytic converter bolts right on 
to the exhaust manifold number one bank and number two bank it's got two two uh catalytic converters that's why they don't get stolen off these things you can't get up in there and cut them out uh so it bolts on then this this one and this one bolts on to the catalytic converter i would start it up but you know with those o2 sensors being unplugged then i'd have to clear a bunch of codes and stuff but these these things sound wicked open open exhaust like that i never run them with no manifold no header or nothing like that i, I never start them up like that you can suck a valve like that burn a valve because it's sucking in cold air you got to have you know you got to have at least something to keep that cold air from coming back and burning your valves so yeah i'm going to call it a day i got a lot done i mean i got this off got the cross member off of course the wheel i got the axle nut off and the axle will push through um so i got quite a bit done so the only thing i got left is to pull this steering knuckle off and out of the way so i can pull the axle out and there's a motor mount right there yeah right there's a the motor mount i gotta take that off one of these motor mounts is broke i do know that but i think it's one up front but um yeah i gotta take that mount out and then i can start unbolting it to drop it down out i'll probably do that tomorrow that way it'll be out by the time my part gets here so it only weighs 66 pounds so you know no problem just lift it up in there um yeah so i ordered the gear lube for this and it's saying it's not going to be in until thursday so I'm probably going to have to get my friend to take me up and get some gear lube. So I bought the gear lube for nothing. I mean, it was supposed to be here by the 5th. Which so was the transmission, or the transfer case. It was supposed to be here by the 5th, but the transfer case is coming tomorrow, the 2nd. So it's coming early. It said between the 2nd and 5th. And the... Uh, same way with the with the uh, gear lube. It was supposed to be here between the second and fifth. I thought, cool, they'll arrive about the same time. But I can't wait till Thursday. There's no way we got to get this thing running. So tomorrow I'll have this down out. Sunday I should have the other one back in, and Monday finish buttoning it up. So hopefully Monday evening we'll be. We'll take this for a drive. I still got to jack the back end up. I want to make sure that something didn't happen in the rear end to put a lot of pressure up there and pop that thing. So, anyway, guys, that's the progress. That's the update on the uh, on the SUV. Uh, I was laying down there looking at them gaskets, and somebody came to visit me. I was like, "Where the hell? How'd you get out?" Well, he got out through there. <laughs> I didn't have the door all the way closed, so he just grabbed a hold of it, opened it up. I didn't hear him. I just felt something. I was like, what the hell? Bruno. Hi, right, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm done for today. And uh, Shea Bear, the Myth Man, Legend, I'm gone for now. Keep Monkey's mom in your thoughts, please. Go over to her channel and, you know, show her some support. We would really appreciate that. We'll see you in the next one. You guys have a great weekend. Stay safe. We'll see you. <laughs> she's like you gotta go see a doctor first of all i can't i have no way my buddy ryan would take me no problem but if i get admitted or something this thing's gonna be sitting here and we can't have that i gotta get this going for her so all right guys thanks for watching bye bye and take care so i just had to tell you this <laughs> last night i told monkey i said you're officially a redneck she hates that I ain't no redneck because, you know, like in school, well, I'll say it, she was a prep, <laughs> you know, and I was just like one of the guys that like to go to the junkyard and play around and stuff, but, you know, <laughs> anyway, she's like, I don't, I, I'm no redneck. I said, yeah, you're officially a redneck now. She's like, how you figure that? I said, well, you got a beautiful Christmas light display out there, and in the driveway, you have a car up on blocks. 
that makes you a redneck. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> oh, I had to share that with you guys. <laughs> had to end on something, you know, lighthearted. So <laughs> we'll see. Bye-bye.